It was November. Apparently that meant time for Mr. Terrup to get crazy with his math ideas again. I think he was on a mission to put us through his math gauntlet. Dollar word. We're going to figure out the number of blades of grass in the soccer field, he announced one day. What? You're going to make us count grass? Peter yelled. That's nuts. No way, Nick was hollering. Dollar word. How are we supposed to do that? Tommy said. I raised my hand. Yes, Luke? You mean we're going to estimate the total number, right? I said. Yes and no, Mr. Terrup said. We'll actually do some calculating to get a reasonable approximation. I was beginning to think that Peter might be right. Yes, it's going to be difficult, but I know we can do it, Mr. Terrup said. Besides, if everything we did were easy, then you wouldn't learn anything. We need to be challenged in order to learn. Mr. Terrup was right about it being a challenge. None of us had any idea how we were going to count blades of grass. But we did. First, we decided we wanted to count 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter squares, which was my suggestion after Mr. Terrup talked to us about sampling and how our government gets population numbers. Then we measured the squares on large pieces of cardboard and cut them out. So we were left with a piece of cardboard that had a 10 centimeter square missing in the middle. That was Mr. Terrup's suggestion. Now it would be easy to toss our piece of cardboard around the field and collect random 10 centimeter samples. So far, so good. Time to head outside. We marched downstairs and out the front doors by the office. Then we stampeded down the sidewalk until the end of the building. The soccer field awaited us on the side of our school. Peter. She was bent over counting blades of grass. It was the perfect opportunity. Mr. T was busy helping someone else, so he wasn't going to see me in action. I gripped the cardboard with my best hold, dipped my knees a little, and let the frisbee fly. It zinged through the air on its mission like a missile from a fighter jet. Bullseye! Ow! Lexi shrieked. My tushy! I almost died of laughter. I dropped to my knees. I laughed so hard. I couldn't stop. I couldn't catch my breath either. Lots of other kids were laughing too. Lexi yelled something about her tushy and me being a jerk. Everyone that missed out on the fun kept asking, What happened? What happened? Everyone except Mr. T. He came right over to make sure Lexi wasn't injured. Lexi was holding her tushy and hopping up and down, saying, Ow! over and over. She's a total drama queen. Usually a teacher checks the spot that hurts, but I don't think Mr. T was real big on that this time. Peter, that's not funny, Mr. T said to me. Someone could have been injured. You're lucky you didn't hit anyone in the eye. Go sit down. I sat down. It was no big deal. If you'd been there, you'd agree it was super funny. Luke. We spread out all over the place, tossing our cardboard squares and counting the blades of grass. Peter, however, was flinging his square like a frisbee, even though Mr. Terrapt had warned us that it wasn't a toy and to be careful throwing it. Maybe if things had turned out differently that day, they would have turned out differently in the end, too. I think what happened on the soccer field just sets us up for disaster later on.